my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to use an add-on profile or generic Ethernet module so that your PLC can control an Ethernet IP EX260. During the video, we will show you the equipment, software, and steps required. In the end, the PLC will be able to control an actuator through the EX260. Let's get started. These are the parts and tools that you'll need to use to set up the EX260 in this video. You'll need a PC, software, and Ethernet connectivity for communication as well. To see how we've set everything up so far, please review the previous videos. Also, check out how to set the IP address video before proceeding with this one. First, hook up the actuator to the manifold. Turn power on to the EX260 module and turn on your air source. Test the actuators with the manual overrides. Now let's set up the EX260 module for the PLC. One way to add the Ethernet module to the PLC is by using the Rockwell Add-on Profile, or AOP. First, install the EDS file and AOP for the EX260. Check the video page for more information. We've established communication with the two devices. Now we're ready to map the EX260 to the PLC. We have created a program using RS Logix 5000 and given it a name. On the left side, under the controller organizer, go ahead and right click on Ethernet and tell it you want to create a new module. We use the filters over here to filter everything out except for SMC devices, making it easier to select the EX260 SEN1. Then you provide it two pieces of information. One is a name and the other is the address that we actually have it connected to. We've now mapped the device and we're ready to download this into the PLC and get the actuator going. You can also set up the EX260 with a generic Ethernet module. To do so, connect the Ethernet cable to the EX260 and start a session of RS Logix 5000. No EDS download is needed this time, but this method takes more effort. Select the master in the controller organizer and select New Module. In the Select Module Type table, select Generic Ethernet Module and click Create. In the New Module Type, enter the desired unit name first. Then enter the Datacom format type. And then the IP address that was set for the unit. Finally, enter the assembly instance and size as per the modules in use. These are fixed for the EX260 based on the data type and unit in use. We've mapped the EX260 inside of the PLC, so we're ready to use it as I.O. We'll go into the controller tags, and you'll notice that we've already created a couple of tags called EX260 colon I and EX260 colon O. Now what we're looking for is the outputs, and these will actually be what connects up to our solenoid valves. Create a couple of tags here, one called extend, and we'll give it an alias, assign it to the output, and then we'll call one retract. Assign that to the next output. These are just I.O. points to be directly driven out of the EX260. Save that. Go into Who Active, then highlight and download them to the PLC. Make sure you follow the screen to complete the download. Now switch the processor into Run Mode. We will actuate the solenoid bits per valve station by changing and entering their values into the extend and retract value table within RS Logix. And as we change the bits, the actuator is now moving. We hope you found this video useful. Look for other SMC technical training videos to assist you in learning about and using our other automation products.